Uh, guys, congratulations on the show again. Thank you so much. Um, I was watching some interviews while I was uh, prepping for this, and you've spoken before about your chemistry test, which I always find is a is a strange uh, kind of must be a strange thing for, for actors to do. Did you did you did you find that a joyful experience or a strange experience? Because you're you're trying to test your chemistry in front of you know people who say yes or yay or nay to you actually having chemistry. But it's such it's such a bizarre circumstance to try, try and yeah convince people that you've never met that you've got this thing called chemistry with someone else that you've never met just to try to try and get a job that you really want so it feels like a lot of pressure but um we um yeah when we met we just yeah instantly hit it off and it was yeah we just really get on so it makes the job so much more easier um to do yeah, I mean, it's it's either there or it isn't. You can't create, you can't um, manufacture it, and uh, it, it was for free, really. So I can, we can accept no responsibility for it. It just it just so happened. Yeah, Did you, had you met each other before doing that 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 test, or were you literally thrown into a to a room, or not physically thrown into a room, obviously, but <laughs> thrown into a room together? That was it. That was the first time that we uh, that we met each other. Yeah, yeah. And we, yeah, we um, decided to meet slightly beforehand just to kind of hang out, um, like, for a couple of hours, which was, um, could have gone one or two ways. It could have been, like, a very slow, long two hours of not speaking to each other. (laughs) Or, thankfully, it was the other version (laughs) where, um, yeah, time kind of flew and then we did our, like, read and, yeah. That's amazing. Well, you guys have great chemistry, so that's good. Oh, Oh, thank thank you. you. (laughs) Um, Obviously, when you, you've done the first season and season two, you know, there's all the second album syndrome that people talk about, about the pressures that come from that. The pressures on a season three must be very different, but also you're kind of in a rhythm now. Season three, you've, you've built up these characters, you, you're kind of in their their relationship. And now, obviously, at the end of season two, going into season three, do you feel less of the pressure going into this one? Do you feel like you've, you've properly found your, your rhythm going in from, from season two into, into season three? Um, yeah, I do think that actually. Um, what the, the second season in America, they call it the sophomore season, don't they? So we've they got do. so we've got our sophomore season out of the way, which went well, which was enough to get us the third one. Um, and uh, yeah, the the character is established. I think we've got a set of characters that, as an audience, you just sort of want to hang out with for half an hour or. Um, or or four hours, depending if you want to watch it all in one go. And um, every character is defined. I think our two characters' relationship is deepened. Um, we're definitely at the core of the show, but you've got lots of really fantastic, a really fantastic ensemble around us as well. And uh, the characters are such now that you can put them in different situations, and it's just fun to see what they do. You know, and uh, I think for a show like this to survive, I think it needs to extend beyond its original conceit. Um, and uh, just become about a group of people that you want to hang out with. And I think we're on the way to doing that. Mm. Definitely. And I I think that kind of you always want to maintain, like, the standard of it going through. I feel like we had, like, series one and, you know, series two that just it feels like it's at a level, and I guess the pressure is to try and maintain that as well, like, through the third series. And I think, I hope we've done that. I think we've done that. As, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's always, it's kind of, to be honest, all the series seems to have like, they've kind of like mingled into one for me just because it all just feels like one lovely job that we get to do. Um, just this time with more children around us. <laughs> yeah. Now, the one thing I will say about this se- this season, there's an episode where it was almost my worst fear. I'm not a parent, but it would be the worst fear of me as a parent that I have a child and that child decides to support mm-hmm. Arsenal and not Tottenham. <laughs> um, <laughs> And that would be like the worst thing in the world. Uh, how Ray for you? I know, obviously, I think you support Crystal Palace, so you, you're you're obviously having to fake that you're <laughs> Arsenal fan in this, and also fake that you're a Spurs fan, which can't be the most fun in the world. Uh, is that a fear that a child of yours, obviously, you have children yourself, that maybe would have supported another football team? Because for me, that's like <laughs> my child wanted to support Arsenal. I, I I would have to try and maybe possibly disown that job. No, but it's, it, I, I, I know, I know, because there's certain laws surrounding that sort of thing. But no, I mean, I, I suppose as a Crystal Palace fan that Brighton would be the worst worst case scenario. Well, um, yeah. But, you know, it would be pretty 
it would be a clear sign of rebellion for one of my children to support Brighton. And I think rebellion is probably to be encouraged in children. So it's a double-edged sword. Yeah. It's so funny, yeah. isn't it? That kind of the the football thing. Because I'm not from London, so I didn't realise that Arsenal and Spurs were like a real contention. To me, it's the baggies versus wolves. If you're like, I'm a baggies fan, so you like wolves are like absolute no go. But it's just it's just fun. Yeah, I literally had no idea that until we really did this show that Arsenal and Spurs were. So I learned something there. No, it's only the. Yeah. I mean, it's understandable because <laughs> it's only the most famous football rivalry in the world. Not really. Manchester United. <laughs> See, strangely, I am from a family that is split that way. My parents, my dad's side are Spurs fans and my mum's side are Arsenal fans. So I feel like I was... The well, it's North London, was... right? It's just yeah. North London. So it's, yeah. yeah. I was the kid that was being pulled from one side to another and had to had to settle on on that um also just the final question i mean it's it's you talk about a subject matter in this that that so many people are going through over over the over the course of you know over the you know forever have you had very good have you had any good feedback from parents or people that you've met that have been through similar things that have kind of you know your this series has kind of helped them in some way to either in a good way or in a you know in, in positive ways yeah well i've i feel like i've you know i'm not massively active on social media but I've got an Instagram account which I don't really use that often because I'm not really sure how to um but I get um uh yeah like DMs from like parents but people who were going through that process hoping to become parents or who have just gone through that process so are parents and it's it's so lovely to hear what they have to say and that kind of the overall theme is that they just feel like their story's been represented and they don't feel alone with it. And actually, what's been really lovely is um, people that have kind of commented on the series that are going through that journey from, uh, kind of commented on our story from, from series one, who have, you know, they were going through the adoption process and who now are like matched with kids and they kind of we, like keep me posted on, on that journey and that's so lovely to feel like a part of that because I think it's just it's such a personal experience and I think it's an experience that people don't we don't tend to talk about or know about so I guess to see it represented you I don't know it's it's having that kind of connection with that story and um yeah that's really really special absolutely uh, guys thank you so much for your time today thank, thank you, you. And, uh, thanks for your time three. ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey, you guys. is yeah. that from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey you guys